Okay, we agitated somebody. It's just Hawaii 5 0. He didn't need that head, anyways. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on a same difficulty. The zombies are all set to nightmare speed, and we plan a map that's made up almost entirely of the wasteland biome generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. Okay, uh, so I have a few things I have uh, have to update you guys on. Our main goal for this episode, however, is that we're going to go ahead and start just exploring the Mega City. Now, you know, I've been here many times, of course, as you know, but. There are some POIs here that I am not familiar with, and, uh, so I want to... Did you drop it? Oh, he did. Uh, I'm not going after that. Screw it. <laughs> it doesn't have anything in there. It doesn't have anything I need. Um, but anyway, um, there's some POIs here in the Mega City that I'm not familiar with, and so we're gonna... We're not doing a quest this time. We're just gonna go explore uh, some of these... Uh, unique POIs, or at least, you know, POIs that are unique to me. Now, in terms of of kind of more major goals for POIs, I want to do I want to do the Higashi Tower. And again, in term and by the way, just a little side note, in terms of questing, I, I'm done with quests. I've finished the tier five uh, chain. The reward I got at the end of it was absolutely pathetic. It was like freaking three you know, of these first aid kits or a wrench or something, I'm going, are you kidding me, game? Really? Seriously? What the hell? <laughs> so, anyways, now, it's not that I need that stuff, but it's just the principle of it, you know. Finishing the Tier 5 quest chain, and I get three first aid kits. Okay, yeah, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> it is what it is. So, uh, what I want to do is I want to do the, uh, the Higashi Tower, and um, I also took, even though I finished with Tier 5, I, I can still do them, right? And I took the apartment... Um, building the big the big apartment building so we're going to do that too we're not going to do that in this episode but we will do that uh, in an upcoming episode so uh yeah for, uh, that's pretty much what's happened in terms of the quest now there's a couple things about uh, my character that i want to show you uh, first of all i have found both the steel crossbow bolt schematic i found that uh, um i've done the, the library skyscraper twice now uh, or since i last left you guys and I did it on Saturday evening on the 23rd of May, and I live streamed that on Twitch. So if you guys want to watch it, the VOD will be up for the next 60 days. And right at the end, at the very top on the roof and the loot, I found um, the schematic. Or actually, it's, you know, one of the magazines um, in uh, the Ranger, uh, Craft Armor Piercing Steel Arrows. So I found that. Uh, so now we can make steel arrows, which is, I'm sorry, steel crossbow bolts, well, and arrows. Uh, which was something, you know, that I've really been wanting to be able to do, so we don't have to rely upon buying those from the trader any longer. Uh, if you didn't know this, of course, the steel arrows are, are quite a bit more powerful than the iron ones. They have more damage, they ignore 20% of the target's armor, and they have a higher velocity than the iron crossbow bolts. The iron crossbow bolts do not, uh, are, are not, don't, do not negate any armor at all. <laughs> My mouth isn't working. Um, so yeah, we, done, we got that done, and then I ran the bookstore again, just off camera, didn't live stream, didn't do any of that, and, um, I found, finally, the silencer mod. Um, I found the, the schematic for the silencer mod. So now, my pistol, um, all my SMGs, and my marksman rifle all have the silencer on it, which is great, because then I went around last night, and just, I, I put audible on, and I just wrenched a whole shitload of cars, and I got, like, over 50,000, uh, over five full stacks of gasoline, because I was low on gasoline, and, um, you know, just kill, kill, killing zombies and stuff, you know, with the, the silencer is really awesome. Uh, very powerful. Because remember, I've got, um, in fact, that's the other thing I wanted to tell you guys. I've, I did another respec. It's very similar to the same build as we had before. The main reason I redid it is because I needed to get salvage operations so that I could go get gasoline. And so a couple of changes that we made uh, with the build. I didn't take Javelin Master this time. I just wasn't really impressed with the spear, guys. Uh, even having it maxed all the way out, um, uh, it didn't it didn't do work, work as well as I expected it to. So I didn't put any points in that. We tried it though, you know. We tried it. Uh, we still have maximum dead eye, maximum demolitions expert. I put a point in lock picking, you know, so we can make our own lock picks. And then after I did that, guess what happened? We got maxed out on the great heist, which allows us to make lock picks. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I was like, God damn it. I wasted a point on that. But that's okay. If we do another respec, at least we know we won't have to take it now. So I can make uh, my own lock picks. I can, I, I can get into the safe 20% faster and have a 10% lower chance uh, to break the lock picks. So that was really cool. Um, uh, is there anything else to... Oh, yeah. The, the other thing that I, I, I maxed out on is automatic weapons. So each kill booster runs speed by 20% for 20 seconds. So we got that too. So we still need uh, urban combat. Uh, urban combat. Now, I really, really, really want this one because silencers then will have no damage penalty. Um, so we're just we just need magazine seven for this one. Um, you know what? Maybe I better run the skyscraper library a few more times. I won't do it on camera because I've already done it like twice now. Uh, but anyway, we, we're we're looking for that, and then you know we we've got several more that we still have to get. But uh, we're getting close. We're getting close. Um, the other one that I found. Was it Wasteland? Yeah, I found uh, the magazine that allows me now to make the mineral water, which was awesome. I want to get uh, this one, too, so that way we can start getting brass from doors. And um, so, yeah, we're just still working on those things. Okay, so back to the respec here. I, um, let's see, so we took uh, Lucky Looter 5, of course, Salvager, oh, and, and Penetrator 5. Uh, those are all very important to this build. In uh, Strength, um, I put the, the last few points just in strength itself because eventually I want to get mother load and 69 or back but these are not high priority uh, right now and we could even you know down the road go back uh, to shotties too because I do like using shotguns and you know maybe that maybe even skull crusher uh, and get back to using the sledgehammer at some point in the future uh, so that's what we did with strength fortitude uh, I max no I didn't max out fortitude I brought fortitude up to seven so that we could get pain tolerance to four and uh, healing factor to four so those are really the only two um, in this tree that I'm concerned about. I didn't put anything in living off the land now because we just we've got so much food uh, I'm just gonna let the garden stay full, you know full for now And again if we at some point in the future feel like we need to we'll respect and you know put points in here I mean, I, I got money coming out my butt you guys <laughs> So it's like I can buy as many, you know as many um, Forgetting elixirs as I need to I really to be you know for all intents and purposes So it's just not worried about it. Okay agility we maxed out again And of course we take max archery max gunslinger batch deep cuts and this time I also maxed out run and gun um, because I noticed that I, I was there were a few times when I was missing shooting from the hip with the crossbow We even when I was like really close and so this gives us two advantages Of course it, it, it makes our shoot from the hip accuracy better, but it also allows us to reload uh, Without any slowdown penalty. Okay, so we maxed that out. Of course we took hidden striking from the shadows We got those maxed out again, too. Didn't put anything into intellect uh, There's just not really anything in here. We need right now. I mean I could do better bar, but why right? I mean I got my I got so much money. I have nothing to do with it So it just doesn't really make sense for me to do that during an adventurer might might not be a bad idea at some point in the future We'll keep that in mind. Okay, so enough of that um, So this building here, this is what's it called clover high school Yeah, I've never been in here. I I don't believe I have ever been in this POI and so uh, We are going to go in there and check it out Let's do it. Let's turn our light off. Uh, it's almost 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so, you know, eventually when nighttime rolls around, we'll be able to, uh, you know, use our night vision. And we're a lot more powerful at nighttime because of all of our, our perks and stuff. But we do pretty good in the daytime, too, of course. All right, so let's look around in here. Um, we got a room. Oh, is this a library? It, oh, wow, library. Okay, cool. Very cool. Let's take a look and see if there's any Zikaruskis in here first. All right, not seeing any, so we'll put the light on so that way you guys can see better in the video. And let's uh, let's just look for books because we still have a few more magazines that we need. Okay, we don't need that one. And we have uh, let's put Luckies on too for this. I don't know if that helps a lot because it's still all just random, but... Okay, we already have Great Heist. It still does the ta-da thing. I don't know why, but it does. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna probably find that we know 98% of this stuff, but... We'll keep looking because there's eh, there are a couple more things that we need. Oh, here we go. We got a new one, guys. Art of Mining Volume 3. What's this do? Uh, harvest 10% more from all ours when buzz from coffee. Okay, we still didn't... Didn't max that one out. 
How close are we, though? Uh, we just need one more buck. The first one adds a small chance to mine rare gems tomorrow. Okay, cool. And then uh, we'll have a 20% chance to one-shot any ore. So that's going to be really nice, you know, when we're mining and whatnot. I might actually try some of these quests. I, I usually, you know, just scrap them, but I don't know. Maybe we'll try them now that we're, you know, pretty decently powerful. Uh, not, not in this episode, of course, but uh, we might try a couple of those and we'll just see how it goes. Just for the hell of it. Just for something to do. <laughs> okay. Um... See if there's anything behind these pictures. Okay, let's um let's just kind of keep fo you know following around the perimeter this way. And we got a red light flashing. I imagine this probably just goes outside, right? Yeah, it looks like it does. Okay. Probably nothing behind those. So yeah, we won't go upstairs yet. Let's finish the the first floor. Are there no zombies in this place? I haven't seen a single zombie or even heard any sleepers yet. It's kind of a neat, you know, neat POI. Okay, we got a we got a basement too, as well as a an upstairs area. Yeah, we could probably take that and sell it. Okay, I think we have checked the entire ground floor of this place, and we haven't run into a single zombie. I wonder if this is like an incomplete POI. We didn't we didn't go in here. It sure has a lot of bookcases in it. Uh, I mean, a, ni a nice quantity of bookcases. But uh, no zombies. Interesting. Let, let me know in the comments if you guys know what the story is behind this POI. Because I've never seen it before uh, uh, until, you know, we we did this uh, series. I wonder if this is one that's added by Nitrogen. I, I mean, I, I didn't tell it to add any custom POIs as far as I know. Or rather, I should say Terry didn't, because Terry Beer's the one that set this map up for me. I'm not going to check all these lockers. I mean, we don't, we don't need anything clothing-wise. We got a swimming pool in here. This is neat. Is this is a little exercise room. Okay, it looks like that's it for the basement. I'm I'm starting to think this probably is a, a custom made, like a player made POI because it's I don't know, it's it's like the whole entire structure is just brick. There's no variation in it. You know, the ceiling's brick, the walls are brick, the floor is brick. <laughs> so it it's either it's probably a player made POI, um, or it's just one that the fun pimps haven't completed yet. But it, it's a neat place though, I mean overall, particularly because of all the books that are in here. These are the classrooms. And there's ammunition in the classroom. All right. Hot damn. Okay. So just more classrooms. Lots of lockers. So, man, good place to come if you're looking for clothing. Like, you know, lucky looter glasses in the early game and that sort of thing. Huh. Okay. So that was kind of almost like a secret passageway to get up here. We're at the at the top floor. An auditorium, nice. This is neat though. I definitely like the idea. Um, assuming it is a player made uh, POI, A, it needs zombies, of course, <laughs> and B, it needs more, you know, it needs to be something other than just all brick. That's those would be my two you know, suggestions for improving the place, but it's an, it's it's a well-made POI other than that. You know, I think it's it's pretty cool looking. Oh, there are fat loots at the end of the tunnel. I want those. Uh, what are we going to get rid of? We don't need the iron.
Interesting. Okay. Well, um, let's take a look and see what's in here. And then uh, I'll, I'll just have to come back and, and get it later because we don't have room for it. We still have our luckies on, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, a nice uh, military vest and gold, silver, that sort of thing. Not bad. Let's see what's in this weapons bag. Ammunition. Okay. Don't care about that stuff. We'll get that later. Shoddy Messiah box. And that and that. I'm going to go ahead and grab all that stuff and take it back down to our Jeep. And then uh, we'll go look around and see what other uh, POIs we might be interested in taking a look at. All right, let's uh, check out the courthouse here. I have been in here, but I've never actually done a quest or gone all the way through it from start to finish. Uh, so I'm sure some of you guys are probably pretty familiar with this place. I am not. So let's check it out. That's a soldier. Let's use high power on him. Love that silencer. <laughs> Love it. Okay, sell that. Make some moolahs. All right, let's go left first. I'm I'm really more interested, guys, in just exploring than I am looting. So, you know, we're not we're not gonna loot anything other than, you know, big stuff. So we can just kind of check the place out. Wow, look at the safes in here. Goodness. Lots of safes. This must be like a, a registration place or something. A sign-in place. All right, well, let's, um, whoops, don't throw that away. Let's check out all these safes. Okay, that's it for this room. So yeah, it's nice to know there's uh, four safes in here for future reference. Okay, we got stairs going up and we have a door over here. This probably just goes outside, I'm guessing. Or actually, maybe it doesn't. Nope, it doesn't. It goes into... Is this a courtroom? Alright, this must be like the, uh... like the jury deliberation room, or... Maybe it's the judge's quarters where he tells the council, okay, we need to take a recess and you guys got to come and talk to me about all this bullshit that's going on. <laughs> okay, so let's go back this way. I don't see anything else significant in here. So let's go up. We're gonna get out the big guns for the big boy. In fact, we'll probably use this on the irradiated too.
Okay, so is this like a... This must be the jail in here. Let's check this place out. That's a feral cop. Let's uh, send a 762 his way. <laughs> I accidentally hit the... The zoom key at the same moment that I fired. Wow, that's some nice stuff. All right, let's compare this to our current and see if it's better. Okay, so the one on our left is our current, and this is the one on the right. Wow, that's significantly worse. I mean, it's got better range and a little more durability, but otherwise, 11 points less. <laughs> wow, big difference, big difference. Okay, we'll stick with the one we have. It is also nighttime, which means we can uh, now, we're going to wear our night visions, and we're going to be a little more powerful. Okay, not too bad of stuff. So that pretty much takes care of the second floor. So it doesn't look like there's anything else up there. Yeah, this is the place. This is the police department. Okay, let's check out the police station. Okay, so we can go this way, or we could go through here. Wow, look at that. We got uh, a nasty over there. Okay, took him out. Uh, anything that potentially will... Oh, shit. That will give us books, like filing cabinets, we will check because, you know, we still have a few more of the magazine things that we need to get. One shot at his ass. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Grab that paper, might as well. Okay, we agitated somebody. It's just Hawaii 5 -0. He didn't need that head anyways. Alright, I do want to grab the brass, of course. Never pass up brass in this game. This is where they take mug shots, apparently. Okay, that's the entryway that we could have come through. This is an interrogation room, it looks like. Whoa! Is it like zombies on the outside hear me opening those doors or something? I don't know. Weird. Not too worried about them. If they come after us, we'll blast them. This is where all the bad people hang out. Took a few shots to take him out, didn't it? All right, let's see if we can... 762 her. Just got to get above that bar there. Beautiful. Oh, okay, that's new to us. Uh, we already have them, but now we can make them. Not that I probably ever will, because I don't really have a reason to, but 
hey, we can do it. That must lead out and in, back into that main room. And we've got a duffel bag that we can't get to from here. So this is like another courtroom. Oh no, <laughs> radiated biker zombie. I hate that guy. He is such a hard dude to kill. All right, um, let's take care of Big Mama. Get her out of the picture. And I think what I'm gonna do for biker zombie guy. All right, let's soften this dude up. <laughs> okay. Man. He took, like, what, five almost point-blank shots? I don't know if I hit his head every single time with a magnum with our skills uh, to kill him. <laughs> That's freaking scary, man. Scary, scary, scary. Okay. Um, There's a thing up here. Just like a, a completely hidden room. Oh, yep. Yeah, it sure is. Secret stash box. Oh, you know, I don't think I'm going to take any of that stuff. Just don't need it. This is the judge's chambers. This is the entryway with the metal detectors. That probably goes right up to the front, I'm assuming. Hopefully the metal detector doesn't set off with our gun. It is morning, so that means it's time to go back to our nerdies. Get rid of all this extra stuff we don't need. And once again, we've got our friend the biker there. Um, I think what we're going to do... Let's just... Let's just kill him. <laughs> just kill him. And, uh, you know, if the shit hits a fan, we'll pull out our SMGs. Let's make sure they're both fully loaded and we'll just spray and pray. Let's magnum his ass. Or actually his head. That's how you do it. Got a little smacked around in the process, but we got the job done. DMV. Well, we won't be uh, waiting in line over here. That's a door we're not supposed to go through. All right, up to the next floor.
Oh shit, he's not dead. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. I hate it when that happens. Okay, we were actually supposed to come this way. So I want to get the brass from over here. Got a stairwell and the elevator shaft that we can finally get into. There was a duffel bag all the way at the bottom of this. Do we really care about that? Yeah, what the hell? Let's just go check it out because it's a parkour experience. Well, hey, look at that. We got vitamins. It was worth it. <laughs> it was worth coming down here for those. So it looks like we're kind of getting up into the attic area now. No blown up. Nope, 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 nope. That's not allowed. This is this is where we're going to get the nasty surprise. They came down already? Yeah, what they do is they fall down through the ceiling. I'm surprised they... They already came down, though. No blown up on my watch. Wasn't there another Zeker? Or is it just... Yeah, she must have fallen all the way down. He, she, it, whatever. Alright, well, here's the fat loots. Um, let's... I don't think there's anything up here, but let's just take a quick look-see. Yeah, that, okay. That's just, uh, the top of the building. Okay. That's pretty decent stuff. Uh, this has one less armor rating, but one more effect resistance than what we're currently wearing. So, yeah. All right, that's all worth coming back up here for. So I will come back up here and grab that. Okay, let's check out this theater. This, um... This does not look like the older versions... Uh, the older theaters from Seven Days to Die, it's not familiar with me, and I've definitely not been inside 
this particular POI. So let's see what it's all about. Again, we're mostly just exploring. We're not really too concerned about doing maximum looting or anything like that. We will hit the, uh, you know, the more significant stuff and brass. This is kind of neat looking in here. It looks very nice. It's like an opera house kind of theater. Uh, all right, let's go left first. This is where they charge you way too much money for popcorn. <laughs> I'm starting to think this is another either incomplete POI or player made POI because there's no zombies in here. At least none that we've seen so far. It's a very nice POI though. It looks really good. You know what this reminds me a little bit of, too, is um, back in the day, I was a huge fan of the Tomb Raider games, like the original Tomb Raider games, Tomb Raider 1, 2, 3, those. And I played them on, on the original PlayStation. And so this reminds me a little bit, if you guys ever played Tomb Raider 2, there was a whole chapter in there uh, that happened in an opera house in Venice, and this kind of reminds me of that a little bit. This is a really nice looking POI. They've done a super good job with it. Oh, that looks really cool. <laughs> that looks awesome. I love it. I love it. So neat. Too bad there weren't any Zeeks in here. Again, if anybody knows the story behind this POI, let me know in the comments because I'm really curious. Um, we'll just keep following the pathway, though. Uh, looks like we're not going to have any resistance from Zeekers, so. What happens if we go up here? Bookshelves! Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, here, here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, crippling shots to the leg with arrows or bolts slow your opponent. Okay, cool. So that still didn't get us everything on archery. So what do we what do we have left? We need craft flaming arrows and crossbow bolts left, and then then we'll do be able to do bulk craft arrows and bolts. Not that I care about that a whole lot, but you know, it's something. We were looking for these for a long time. You know, it's funny how you're looking for something in this game. That looks like a secret area. Ooh, look at this. Oh, it just takes us back down here. Okay. Um, you know, you're looking for something for a long time. And, um... You finally find it. After looking for a long time. And then after that, you just find it left and right. Case in point, you know, I've been looking for the silencer mod schematic for, for a long time. I finally find it, and then in... You know, in that same bookstore library, I found, like, two more of them. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, so we came up through here. I think it wants us to go this way. Well, we can't really go any, any further this direction. What about if we go across through here? That's the... The uh, projector room. That's probably, my guess, is that's going to be where the end loot is. We come along through here, and then drop down to here. Wow, I almost didn't make that. Back behind the stage. Wow, this is really well done. <laughs> really well done. Another thing that it reminds me of, too, is that I played a lot of uh, Rainbow Six uh, Rogue Spear in particular, but some of the other ones, too. 
uh, back in the day, and uh, there was an there was a level in there where th that was in an opera house that you had to do, and so it kind of reminds me of that too. Guess we don't really need to crouch if there's no Zeeks in here. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> famous last words, goodness. It's the first zombie we've seen in this whole place. These must be like dressing rooms. Alright, that makes me wonder if there's more Zeekers in here. That was funny how that happened. I mean, it just, as soon as I'd said that, there's a zombie. So, yeah, my guess is that when they complete the POI, this will just be like an ambush point. This is the this is the orchestra pit here. Yeah, definitely looks like a stage backdrop, doesn't it? Yeah, my guess is that these custom POIs that we're seeing, they must be part of nitrogen. But if you guys know, you know, let me know, because I'm curious. Um, definitely hats off, you know, to whoever did design this POI. This is a very, very well designed POI. Oh, wow. Really? We're supposed to make that jump? Hmm. I don't think we're gonna... I don't think we can make that jump. <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, so we could go up that way, but let's walk around up here on the catwalk first, just to make sure we're not missing anything. I don't see anything down there for us to actually get to, though. Sure looks great, though. Let's go outside and see where else this is going to lead us to. And there we go. Okay. Well, that was fun. That's it's it's really odd too that we had one zombie in this whole place in that one. Oh shit! Oh, phew. Uh, in that one room. I'm trying to jump across there. Here, can we? Oh, there's another thing. Weird. All right, guys. Well, that was, uh, from an exploration point of view, that was kind of fun. I actually really enjoyed uh, checking this POI out. Very neat POI. Bravo. Bravo to the individual or persons who, who designed that thing. That is really cool. All right. Well, I think that's going to wrap things up. I can't think off of the top of my head of any other POIs in the city here that I've seen that I haven't done before. Um, if I do come across one, then we'll probably, you know, do do an episode on it. But otherwise, uh, I think we've pretty much covered everything in terms of, you know, stuff that's new, or at least new to me. So we have uh, the apartment building left to do, uh, and we have the quest for it. And whether or not we actually get a quest, I would like to run you know, do a run through on the Higashi building too, because I'm not really familiar with Higashi in Alpha 18. I, I ran it many times in Alpha 16, and once or twice maybe in 17, but I don't think, to my knowledge anyways, 
to my recollection, I don't think I've actually done Higashi in Alpha 18. So I would like to do that. And whether we do it as a quest or just do it, you know, to do it, um, depends upon if I can actually get a quest for it, you know. But we will do that uh, in an upcoming episode. So thanks, guys, for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And we will see you the next time we see you. Bye-bye.